Hi, Deadly Hole there, RuneScape Kateers. It's trying to, we're gonna be finishing the Sins of the Father quest. So, we just killed uh, Damien last time. And there's my cat, right on cue. We gotta talk to Finescula. Dang it, kitty, why you always gotta do this? You did it in 2018 and you're still doing it now in 2021. Okay, kitty. Go on. Go on. Okay. But. I went to bed after doing what I did on the quest. I woke up and I had a kidney stone, so I tried to do all these quests on the 28th, and now it's the 30th. I called off sick today, and I lost my holiday pay, which sucks, but I have a kidney stone right now, and I'm on hydrocodone, so that's making me feel pretty good. I'm a little out of it. We're going to complete this quest. Okay, we're gonna put on the disguise, and if you notice, I got rid of my sharks. I'm no longer. I got. I got eight inventory spaces open for the logs. Alright. Gonna go to Versenhaza. Yeah. Go to the mines. First, we gotta find one. There we go. Talk to. Send me to the mines. And then we can just leave this time. We don't gotta mine nothing. Back to the north of the mining hole. It's right over here. I'm pretty sure I have an opportunity to gear up for the final boss of this quest. Alright. Head to the Arboretum. 
Alright, that's that right there. So. Gotta figure out how to get in there. This should take us. Alright, we're gonna have to run around, I guess. Of fluids. But you got a kidney stone. Alright, cool. I think I see a way in. Going around town. Looks like I'm gonna run out of run energy. But there's a bank right there, luckily. And I do, in fact, have my axe. Okay, we gotta go find that vampire chewing it. Alright, we gotta head to the house with a water simple northeast of the furnace. So that would be right there. I'm gonna stop by the bank and get a stamina potion. Isn't that wonderful? We're, we're gonna have to walk eventually. Let's see. Yeah, that's a bit of a ways. This is a pretty cool area, though. Ah, there's the Hollowed Sepulchre. That's uh, one of my big motivations for doing this quest. So that I can finally do that and train some agility. Alright, we're almost there. more than whatever Nikazi C more than Nikazi C
Man, chopping wood ain't easy. I was like, oh, I'll just go in and chop the wood. And I realized I was gonna have to do all this stuff, too. Alright, we're going to prison. I'm prison Mike. The worst thing about prison was the Dementors. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got some right energy. Let's use it. Be nice to know which one of these is the prison. Oh, seriously, I gotta run around all that stuff. Okay, so this is a bar. Alright, let's look at the map. Maybe that'll help me. Castle Draken. Alright, so it's gotta be one of these buildings north. Oh, there, there it is. Actually, this door right here. Work nightshade. There we go. Hey. That was a close one. Yep. Okay. Hey, we got lots of run energy back during that cutscene talk. Blah, blah, blah. I 
them in. All right. Do do do. do. Toppled shelves for an old note. That's a lot of words. Oh wait, I'm gonna take notes. How many gallons tree requires to be cut? Dude, this is different for everyone. Forty one gallons of water. And if you go to the Arunsky Wiki, there is a very helpful chart on there that I'm using. So for me, since it's 41 gallons of water, I gotta turn the south valve five times and the north one three. Alright, south valve five. And I'm gonna set this one to three. Should let me chop it eight times. Oh shoot! This is in uh, Infernal Max, so uh, some of the time it's gonna burn the logs. I forgot that I had uh, turned that into an Infernal Max. I need to get a new axe, but I did that for a clue scroll. And there we go, we got eight logs. Head back to the icing graveyard. Oh geez, that dude scared me with the chop chop. Alright, Berg teleport and then we'll take the boat. Attack to Bailoff and Vanescula. First, a quick stop by my house to replenish my run energy. I'm gonna drink some Greek for Loco. No. Man, I had a headache after drinking that. Once it finally started to wear off. And then, verse and Haza. do the final preparations and then which is making the weapons 
Then we gotta get ready for the boss fight, the final boss fight. All right, we gotta get the old man Ral's house. Man, this place is a maze, though. Alright, I found it. We're gonna give this dude seven logs. Here you go. And then inventory space now. Okay, we're gonna get a sickle. Use the ruby on the sickle. Enchant the ruby sickle. Use the blister blister log on it. Blister wood sickle. Now you use the Avondus flail on the sickle. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh hey, and then you take that sickle off, I guess. Cool. And then you got yourself uh, a blister wood flail. Cool. Now we gotta prepare for the fight with Van Strom Claws. Yep, okay, so we're gonna. It's time to gear up. I'm gonna go to a bank before going back to the Icing Graveyard. And I'm going to very quickly get my inventory how I want it for this boss fight. So, see you in a minute. Alright, so I'm all prepped for the fight. I suggest you go to the bank in Birthday Rot so you can just uh, go to the Icing Graveyard from there. Got a couple prayer potions, one super combat potion, some angler fish that'll uh, raise my max HP, and then uh, mana rays. And I got the toxic blowpipe as a ranged weapon because there's like these blood velds that you want to uh, shoot before they get you. Which I'll actually need a free inventory space because it's going to take both those weapons away. So, I'll probably eat an angler fish to start out. And that's my strategy for this. And we're gonna wanna pray, pray magic, pray mage in the first phase, pray melee in the second. There's these blood splash things in the first phase you wanna avoid. And you can actually damage him if uh, you run around him and get him to walk into them. And when the screen goes dark, you want to take your character and make them look away. Okay, let's do this thing. And then on the second phase, you just gotta avoid the lightning attacks. Alright, 
beast of the graveyard talk to Cephalan Hollow. And then Bonds from Claws is gonna show up, I guess. Or something. I'm ready. I hope you guys are ready too. Accurate.
goal. They all just died. Okay, here we go. Something pre mage. I'm gonna go ahead and drink eat that and drink this. Alright, come walk into this buddy. Oh, I triggered it. I'm gonna pre this too. If it starts to get dark, I need to look away. Oh yeah, take auto and retaliate off, that's important. Oh, pet! Ah oh, shit. Oh no no no! Shit, he finally did the thing. still got hit by it. Good thing I brought a buttload of food. Let's try and not trigger it this time. Alright, no. Yeah, I got him to walk into it. Alright, now we're gonna switch to Prey and Melee. We gotta dodge a whole bunch of lightning. Oh. 
I walked right into it. Dying. He's so close. Yeah, got him. That was close. And that's it. That quest complete. I've completed all the quests once again. Hell yeah. I'm gonna use this on room crafting. And once again, on room crafting. And once again. On rune crafting. And that's 72 rune crafting. Now that I got that quest done, how about I finish my elite clue scroll that I can finally do now? Yeah, that sounds like a, a good use of my time. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you want to. I'll see you next time when I do a Kingdom Divided coming out June 16th. But I may not release it until like August. We'll see. See you then.